all. So today's speech was one of the most anticipated of the year. Dozens of students at the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester gathered to watch it together. Our Ken McLeod is there live tonight with their reaction to the speech. Ken? Paula, Holy Cross was among many Catholic institutions all across the country that held a viewing party today. No question the Pope has sort of a home court advantage on a campus like this, but students here think he took full advantage of his extra large pulpit. The Pope of the Holy See. They were glued to it for 50 minutes, even those with aisle seats, and many students thought Pope Francis Homer. The way he like presented that, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. You might expect the pontiff to garner rave reviews on this Jesuit campus, but folks here believe his historic pitch to Congress crossed party and religious lines. He's the Pope, so he preaches what we believe as Catholics, but not in a, like, bang it over your head type of way. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Just across town, some slightly older Catholics weren't settling for TV. They were boarding a Philly-bound bus to see the Pope in person, some armed with flat Francis. We're going to wave it. Hopefully you'll see it. He seems to have a heart that listens to the people. Well, we went to Italy to see him. Why not go to Philadelphia? The bus was late, but the enthusiasm stuck. Back at Holy Cross, the Pope's message was sinking in. There's a really strong invitation there to, to all of us to work towards the common good. Indeed, the Pope encouraged a partnership in solving complicated global crises with some simple principles like love, respect, and community. But Francis has this remarkable ability to sort of bring these issues down to earth. And in doing that, these students believe Francis made some historic minutes in the spotlight really count. The way he used it was brilliant. One professor told me he hopes people remember and act on what the Pope said, but he suspects the political dimensions of this event will overshadow that. Live at Holy Cross tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Let's go back to Paula in New York. All right, Ken, thanks so much. And David and Lisa, just want to show you this.